Hey, it's us back again. Uh, the battery on the camera died, so we're going to try this again. Alright, here we got... We did all this crap right here. Now we're going to go into the Sega Mega Drive games. Which is Sega Genesis. And we have Alex Kidd. Alex Perry. Wait a second, AK Perry? I'll tell you what, you know what it is? What they did was, they took all these Sega games and broke them down level by level, giving you 115 games, but actually just 115 levels. These are all Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd was a one decent game in the old days. Now, let's see. CD Dungeon Castle. See all of these? Oh, columns. So they're all real Sega games. See all this good... Echo. Everybody loves Echo. That was the most boring game of all. And Slicky, which seems to be a Sega Master System game. Fatal Labyrinth, I mean. Seems to be a, make, a Sega Master System game, but we don't know yet. Yeah, these got to be Sega Master System games. Not all Sega Genesis games. And these are Sega Genesis games as well. Pretty decent games. They look poorly rendered on here, but the games themselves actually play just like Sega games. And Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. Sonic the Hedgehog is on this one. And, once again, broken down into levels rather than... So there's not a million Sonic games, it's just levels upon levels upon levels. Levels, ooze, blah blah blah. Okay, what we're going to do is, uh, since everybody loves Sonic, we're going to try Sonic. Now, take a listen to the sound and t tell me what's wrong with the sound. A little bit too deep, isn't it? Buttons on the controllers feel really good. They're not, not bad at all. And the gameplay is not, not bad at all. Nice, uh, smooth, slow in Sonic game. Uh, I can't play in particular, but... But overall, it seems to be playing not bad at all. Now we we'll go to another game. Mega Drive Games. Alex Kidd, because I mentioned it before. This is like a uh, first generation Sega 1989. And we'll start. Let's see what Alex. I remember this game, I think it's one hit kills you, so. Expect me to die soon. Look at that kick. His longest. His leg is elongated and blah blah blah. Yep. One hit kill. Alright. Now, I mentioned the SD card before, and I'm going to show you. When you insert this SD card into the system, magic happens. This SD card right here. It's dark. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to turn off the system for a second. I think Kyle can't see now. <laughs> and we're going to try uh, playing games off the SD card. There we go. At games. All right, now we'll go down here, and we'll go over to SD card. Now this is the meat and potatoes of this system right here. It's playing games off the SD card. What you do is get games. You download them from various spots, parts, spots. <laughs> anyway, I must tell you that it plays bin games, so you can't download gen games. You got to convert it to bin and whatnot. But I put just a few games on here. Let me show you. Just a few. Just a few. What do you think? Alright, I'm going to start with one of my favorite games. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll try Streets of Rage. That's a, that's a pretty decent game. Now, some games take a while to load, some take a little bit longer, but not too bad. This game plays rather well. The sound's a tad off, but not too much to notice while doing gameplay. As I'll show you in just a second. Let me press start. Pick your character, uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll go with Adam. 
because he's the first guy there. And these games play pretty well. Oh, wrong button. But as you see, games play rather well. Buttons aren't too clicky, clicky like most of these uh, these Asian joysticks, the joy pads. They're not that squishy feel. Not bad at all. Now, just for uh, giggles, we're going to put on the same Sonic game that was on every four. Now, their Sonic that they had was Sonic 1. I will find Sonic 1. Right here, Sonic 1. This is off the SD card rather than playing it straight through the system. Let it load for a second. Notice how the sound is much better. Uh, there's a little bit messed up in the music right there, but overall it sounds much better, see? Gameplay is a little bit faster too. Well, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But yes, off the SD card, you get all the levels because it's the full game rather than just that cheesy little little bit. Now you're asking me, hmm, will it play other stuff? No, sadly, just Sega Genesis games. But I will show you something really interesting. I was on Esther. Something that you may not see ever is right here. You may have noticed that said Super Mario. Yes, somebody actually went and ported Super Mario. You can find it on the internet, download the ROM, but listen to the sound on this. This is NES emulation through Sega Genesis. And it's the actual game, believe it or not. It's Super Mario on the Genesis. And I'm not going to do a whole playthrough, I just wanted to show you how well it works. Everything is actually in the game, even the secrets. Ah, oh, can't do the trick. But yep, Genesis for some reason decided to go with some weird sounding sounds. But overall, it's Super Mario. Now we're going to try a two player game, see how two player games work. Uh, we'll turn on Kyle's remote control. Oh, it's up to now. <laughs> I can't see. Now, SD card. And two player game, two player game. Oh. Like I said, one of my favorites again. This is Street Fighter. And we're not going to do any butt configurations, no configuration in the game whatsoever. We're just going to try out. ST2 Turbo. Hmm. Now this isn't the system's fault. This is just the ROM I wound up getting to try out on this. But it is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. If Kyle press the start. There we go. Uh, any guy in particular? And Kyle picks Blanca. I know. <laughs> I picked it for you. Alright, now see? Kicks. And I don't see any punches. Oh, there's one punch. X button's punch. I didn't... Hi! It's us again. Ran out of time on this. Alrighty. Now this is Street Fighter. Button... Accidental hit of the reset button. I tell you what. The games actually do play rather well. All in all. And the good thing is... This system cost me... 29 bucks at Walgreens. Yes, Walgreens, the drugstore. So check your local Walgreens. 29 bucks, you can get yourself a Sega system. Download games from various sites like Dope Roms, Cool Roms, stuff like that. Dope Roms is pretty decent. Or what I do is I gotta go to Torrents, which you're not supposed to. So don't do this at home, children. Wink, wink. And just an extra added measure. Quotes, quotes, quotes. Um, if, for the price, you can't, can't knock it. Where else can you get a Sega Genesis anymore? And uh, instead of playing on a teeny tiny little computer screen, 
you can put this on your TV screen. Even though my computer screen is about the size, give or take, <laughs> of my TV screen. But picture it on your widescreen TV. Old Sega games that you used to remember growing up. And Tea Time also. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. This is probably going to be a three-parter. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye. It's Tea Time. <laughs>